What's up everyone, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, heaps of cool um, RC related content. And if you like the video, maybe give it a good old thumbs up. But anyway, here is a new one from WL Toys. This is their 110 scale Jeep. I guess you could call it, call it a crawler, but it's not really um, like a hobby grade crawler per se. It does look cool though. If you want to buy it just for the body, I guess you can. Um, it's fairly cheap. I think it's under $100 US at the moment. Links in the description if you want to go check it out. I'll do a really quick unboxing and we'll take it outside for, for its test. But, um, you know, it does look pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, it's not hobby grade per se. So don't think it's uh, a true hobby grade RC. Like it doesn't have proportional controls and all that kind of stuff. As well as a, a, a proper branded product. But it is really cheap. So, anyway, hope you like the video. Alright, here is a box for the new WL Toys 104 311 110 scale 2.4 GHz 4x4 Jeep. Now, as you can tell, it is a Jeep. Um, they've done a pretty good job, but there's an ear copper. It's not for kids, it says 14 plus. Uh, so, yeah, this content is not for kids. So, there we go. Anyway, <laughs> four wheel drive, battery operated. Now, it's ready to run. It is not a full grade hobby. Uh, kind of a great RC car but the one thing I might take out of this is the body itself so quickly look around the box it's 110 scale 15 kilometers an hour well it's a crawler so you don't really worry about the speed but uh, that's pretty much what you get now I've just taken the lid off because it's just easy to do one hand here's the car here itself now first up we have our 2 before 4 gigahertz controller up here and uh, yeah I think you know this might be good for a for someone's first RC, but there is your 24 gigahertz controller. Batteries go underneath, but uh, you know, nothing too fancy there. Not going to waste too much time with this unboxing. Here is the car itself now. I think it's probably cable tied in there, or I might need two hands. Let's see if I can do this one handed just to make it a quick video. But uh, let me pull it out now. Oh, look at that suspension. That suspension is as soft as a cheap hotel bed. But, uh, can we get it out? There we go. Happy days, guys. So, we'll put that to the side. What else we've got here? Some instructions. And what is that? Foreign object. I do believe that is for the light bar. Alright, so because it is stated as a ready to run, apart from the transmitter batteries, it does include this charger that you just lob that straight into the bin. You don't need that. And a little tool there. But, uh, yeah, enough of that. Let's have a look at the car. So, <laughs> so I don't know if this is WL Toys' first step into the crawler market. Um, one thing I do think they've done well on the body does look pretty cool. So if you have like a, a XCX10 or something else, a 110 scale crawler, that might be able to fit that. Because let's let's grab this for just a just a quick doozy. Damn straight, perfect wheelbase. So if you do like that body, which it does look pretty cool, um, you might be able to just smack that cowboy onto your existing, you know, rig if you want to do that. But as you can see, they are not oil-filled shocks at all. So have a nice look around the body. Everything is plastic. The body is Lexan, but kind of quite thick Lexan. Got some nice details on the body itself. Or well, like uh, handles and mirrors, snorkel as well. Nice roof rack, and that's where that light bar. That's where this. That's where this bad boy went. I do believe that just snaps on. Probably just like that. Look at that, one-handed. There we go. Like you just bought one. Turn it around the back here. Oh, uh, stickers applied on the back there, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Now, I do like that luggage rack though, that's pretty cool. Like I mentioned, um, leave the link in the description when you go check it out. I do believe it's like $99, so that's pretty cool. 99 US. Um, it is, I guess, uh, you could say four link suspension, but not your traditional style. And as you can see, it's not uh, true RC because it's got a, a motor per axle. And it looks like it's not proportional. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. It is what it is. Let's just uh, let's open her up like we all want to see. See if we can do this in like one take. I know you, a lot of you guys say I don't do uh, cheap RCs anymore. Well, here you go. Here's a cheap one for you. Oh, and careful because it has LEDs, which is cool. That's got a front uh, LEDs and the light bucket as well. Here is the guts of her. Now it's all plastic construction, as you can see. Motor at the front on that axle. Motor at the front on that axle. Um, it is locked um, differentials as well, but oil field shocks, they are not. Here's your basic board there, so it's just going to be like probably on and off or semi proportional controls, but we'll certainly do that in a minute. Uh, what else have we got here? That's, that's about it. On and off switch at the bottom there, but uh, yeah, you might want to use parts or the chassis or like I said, you can bite and just steal it for the body because it is nicely painted red and it's got a nice silver inside there as well so you know it's that's, that looks pretty cool I must admit and they are separately applied details as you can see the hood and uh, the mirrors and all that kind of stuff so the body in itself the Lexan body seems pretty cool but let me find the battery let me see if it's charged and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you in a sec okay open her up there's bloody Screws, you know, they always have one screw there. God, I hate that, but that's what's included. We have a 1200 milliamp lie on 7.4 volt battery, and for the controller, you need four double A's. And are they double A's in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? I think they are double A's. Look at that. True RC fan has double A's in his pocket, and uh, here we go. So I'll turn that all up. Let's have a let's have a look. It's a bit difficult one here. Let me put those in and I'll plug it up. Cooking with the gas now. Let's turn her on. Can transmitters on? Uh, let's plug this. Turn her on. Oh, it's already plugged in, obviously. There we go. Wow. Okay. Disco lights happening. Maybe if I turn this on and off again. Hello. Mm. Oh, there we go. Took a while. Had a late night, I think. But yeah. See, so that's that steering. On or off, so this is oh, same as a throttle, it seems. Hmm, okay, it is what it is, I guess. Now, it's it's it is fairly cheap, I think it's $99 US currently um, on Banggood. So, go check it out if you're interested. But oh, <laughs> okay, I think I need to put this on the ground. All right, here we go. Battery's plugged in, everything's ready to go. Oh, Jesus. So it does go, but it's just one speed. I guess it is what it is without suspension going. I do like the body though, I'll, uh, I'll probably be using that in the car after this, maybe not so much. We, if you have a kid, and, well it's our first car, sorry, not for kids, sorry copper, not for kids, but uh, someone young who wants to use this, it's above 14 plus, I guess it's, it, it might be something that they might be interested in, but yeah, you can't really crawl per se, because, you know, listen to that. But that's just the nature of the servo mechanism. So it's just on and off type of thing. But it does have pretty good speed. If you're after that for a crawler, which is not ideal, but let's just see if you can. Now this battery is just from the factory, so it might need charging, but yeah, so go you good thing, go you good thing. Don't have a hissy fit, just go. Don't get angry at me. Don't do that, just get up. <laughs> yeah, okay. Definitely not a crawler per se. Oh, Jesus. Get away, cat. 
It does look cool with those lights on it, but that top bar is not on. Maybe it got damaged during shipping because that the uh, case was off. So there's no real fine motor control, obviously, with the proportional. It gives you the old uh, 90s days. But, uh, you know, it works. Lock differential, so that's a plus. Um, there we go. Who's laughing now? Look, I'll, I'll tell you how it is, guys. So, you know, if it's... I know a lot of you guys know that this is not really marketed for a true crawler, but hey, some people. Turning circle, you know, it's okay. It does have that uh, adjustment at the bottom if it's running, not you know, not running true, so you can adjust that. But I don't know what else to show you guys. N not the electronics, obviously not waterproof. Um, so I just bear that in mind. But yeah. I don't, think, I don't think I need to do another full-on driving video. Ooh. Let's try that again. Alright. Let me know what you guys think. A link is in the description. If you haven't, please subscribe. And, uh, you know, if you like the video, we'll give it a good old thumbs up. I do believe that is the uh the car telling you that the battery is running low and uh need to charge it back up again but uh, let me know what you guys think like i said comment down below and uh i will see you in the next video hope you enjoyed this quick video but uh cheers guys and by the way don't take rc too seriously it's all about having fun and as long as you're smiling that's the main thing so happy days guys see you in the next video